Chronic wasting disease is a contagious neurological disease. It's caused by a transmittable spongy form encephalopathy, which is an abnormal protein called prion. In short, in layman's terms, it's similar to what causes mad cow disease in cattle and scrapie in sheep. It's fatal and it's causing some issues in parts of the country on the deer population. An infected animal has prions found in various concentrations in all its systems. The highest concentration is found in the brain. It is also found from the highest, which is the brain, in the carcass, in the lymph node tissues, in the deboned meat, in the digestive tissues, in the blood, in the saliva, the feces to the lowest concentration, which is in the urine. Experts also say you need a million fold or more concentration methods to identify barely detectable levels in the urine. When I first started reading about CWD, I was surprised by the number of articles, studies, and research there is out there on CWD. How it's transmitted, how the agencies in every state monitor the deer population. Which I was more surprised is how many of these articles, agencies, scientists conflict with each other on how exactly it is transmitted. Now, I'm not a scientist. I'm a hunter and an outdoorsman. I could speak for a good many of individuals that I know, hunt with, and anyone else who has an affinity for the outdoors when I say I don't want to lose the quality deer population that we have. I'm also not a biologist. I don't know everything about CWD, but what I do know, what I do trust, is there are companies out there who feel as I do. They don't want to lose the quality deer population and make commitments to ensure healthy animals. Look, I do know there are voluntary steps that reputable companies like Tinks have taken to ensure their lure attractants do not contain CWD. They only source from suppliers who voluntarily participate in the Archery Trade Association's deer protection program. This program has strict requirements and the participants have agreed to take measures to meet or exceed state and federal CWD requirements to ensure that all their products come from a healthy deer herd. They ban new imports of animals into the existing herds Continual testing, 100% of the herd, double fencing are only a few of the strict requirements to maintain certification in this program. In my home state of New York, they suggest that we don't use deer urine, but I've been using deer urine for over 30 years. I use it for a short period of time between the pre-rut and the rut, it's possibly four weeks. I use it in very, very small amounts, and I'm using it from a canister with a wick I'm using it on a drag rag mostly, and occasionally I do use a scent drip. I'm just having a hard time thinking that that small amount is gonna help spread CWD. We've only had one case in our state in 2005. It was on a fenced deer farm that had five deer that were infected. And since then, in 13 years, we have not had another case of CWD. Banning these lures will do nothing other than take another tool away. We should instead focus on approaches that can make a difference in the spread. So do your research, know the facts on CWD and deer urine. Go to www.cwdfacts.org or www.archerytrade.org for more information.